Well, good morning. Here we are leaving Cannery Cove. So you can see a beautiful sunny day with the mountains behind us. Just over there where you see a lot of those peaks is where we were anchored out last night. And if you're not familiar with what we do here on Mother Goose, uh, let me tell you a little bit about that. We have a uh, usually a fleet of, oh, five or six boats, and we spend about three months up here in Alaska. And uh, first thing is, it's 100% bare boat charter. And so what that means is uh, everyone's responsible for their own boats. Uh, most don't hire captains, although they have that option if they'd like to. And uh, we uh, provide the itinerary for the whole trip. We take care of the maintenance. We have a full-time naturalist aboard explaining all the history and the wildlife. We fill water tanks, we take their trash, and uh, basically all their duties are just to drive the boat and enjoy the vacation while we take care of all the, the difficult the logistical type things. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jordan Pemberton. I've had the privilege of leading leg two here on Mother Goose. We're just wrapping up our trip from Ketchikan, Alaska, all the way up to Juneau. And today we are visiting Tracy Arm, which is a beautiful fjord in southeast Alaska, about 50 miles south of Juneau. Very popular fjord. And there's two glaciers at the end of the fjord that we tend to visit about twice a year every summer, uh, the Sawyer Glacier and South Sawyer. And uh, we bring the boats up for the day and we navigate our way up through the ice. Uh, we have about five boats behind us now following us. And it takes about uh, oh, three hours to get up here from the bottom of the anchorage uh, out by Stevens Passage and another three hours back. And uh, part of how we do that up here is we used to bring everyone on board Deception and just go up as one group. And then we got a lot of feedback saying that uh, part of the reason that they chartered this trip is that uh, they wanted to drive their own boats. 
So what we started doing is just having people follow us and uh, enjoy the fjords and all the glaciers. And when we get to the real thick ice, we'll uh, slow down. We've installed a stainless steel shoe on our bow stem. And so we're able to bump a little bit of the ice out of the way at dead slow speeds. And with all the goslings behind us tucked in uh, very close up to maybe a couple boat lengths behind us, we're able to navigate our way through the thicker parts of the ice and bump them out of the way without any significant damage to the boats. Um, the Grand Banks were built really strong and very highly reinforced fiberglass boats. And so we really enjoy coming up here and we'll love to continue to keep coming up here. A lot of these glaciers, uh, as you can see behind me, uh, calve off quite a bit of ice. And so uh, there may not be much more time left to, uh, for these tidewater glaciers to continue putting ice into the water. They may be pulling up on land uh, somewhere in the next, uh, could be up to five to 10 years. So we're really fortunate to be able to come up here with all of our boats and enjoy this beautiful land and beautiful water. And uh, if you have any more questions about what we do up here and how to navigate up through the ice and into the fjords and up on into the glaciers, feel free to visit our website and uh, look at some pictures at nwexplorations.com. And we certainly look forward to seeing you on a trip up here with us soon.